the fight for democracy unfolding right before our eyes in Tennessee. Vice President Kamala Harris making an impromptu trip to Nashville to meet with former state representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson and current state rep Gloria Johnson. In a tweet, the vice president making her position clear, saying that the Tennessee Three won't be silenced and their demands for gun reform must be heard. The meeting coming less than 24 hours after the Republican-led vote to expel these lawmakers from the Tennessee state legislature. Republicans claim the Tennessee Three violated House rules by leading a peaceful, nonviolent protest in the House chamber, demanding action on gun violence. Yet those Republicans only expelled the two black members and spared the third white member. Instead of working towards solutions to prevent gun violence, this is what Tennessee Republicans are focused on, suppressing the voices of those who speak up for justice and for our children's safety. I have the honor of sharing this time with Tennessee State Representative Gloria Johnson. She is the one representative who survived that expulsion vote. Representative Johnson, it's an honor to have you on the show this morning. Look, Republicans accused you and Justin Jones and Justin Pearson with bringing, quote, disorder and dishonor to the House. But let's speak frankly. How did these Republicans not bring shame and dishonor by making such a blatantly racist move and expelling only the two youngest black members of the House? I think they have brought dishonor to the House um, over the last few years, uh, multiple times. But this was just um, incredible that they did something like this for such a small infraction, uh, disruptions on the House floor that we've seen in the past, uh, much more severe than this. And, and yet, um, for only, what, the third, the fourth time in history, they had decided to expel members for that uh, small, uh, just a few seconds, it was probably about 15 seconds before the speaker called recess. So most of the four or five minutes we were up there was during recess. You know, Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton pushed back on claims that racism had anything to do with expelling your two black colleagues, but not you. He said in an interview on Fox News that you are, quote, trying to cloak racism in this, which there was nothing on this. They were all given due process. Look, I followed what was happening that day just as it was occurring to you and your colleagues. What are you saying about his defense of due process? Um, there was absolutely no due process. That was a kangaroo court. I mean, we went in there. Uh, my uh, uh, counsel had requested to um, have video. They refused us video. The first motion they make when we get started was to allow their video. Um, we had not seen their video. We did not know what they were going to show. Even when they said, told us what their video was, they, was, they said it was just that day on the floor. It actually wasn't just that day on the floor. They had, they had edited other things in. Um, so it was a farce from the very beginning. Um, the document that they had for me had multiple things listed in it that I had I, I absolutely clearly on their own video did not do. It... Um, you know, it was absolutely not due process. They know it. The world saw it. And it was about silencing the voices who were speaking out against gun violence because they have no interest in taking real action to prevent children in Tennessee from being gunned down in their classrooms. And what's your um, reaction now actually, to... Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The speaker actually went on uh, Fox News the day after and said that uh, accused the, the parents, the toddlers, the teenagers who were there of being insurrectionists and trying to rush the chamber doors. None of that, none of that ever, ever happened. Um, at some point in the day, there was a skirmish between a couple of teenagers and the highway patrol, but that was the only thing that happened. It didn't happen at the same time as uh, when we went to the well, and they conflated all of those things and put together this video. Um, but it was still an incredibly peaceful day. We were out there talking to parents. Parents were telling us how afraid they were to drop their kids off at school that morning. 
which is the most important issue and the reason why you were protesting in the first place. And you, along with Mr. Jones and Mr. Pearson, represent about 200,000 constituents. How do your Republican colleagues really think that disenfranchising hundreds of thousands of voters of their selected representative is going to go down? It's, it's really not a good look. And I don't think they expected the um, support that we have on both sides of the aisle. I mean, the reality is, during my last, last election, just last year, we polled on common sense gun legislation. I have brought red flag laws two times in the past, planned on bringing another. I, I have it written up. And um, overwhelmingly, majority of Republicans, the majority of independents, and the majority of Democrats in my district favor red flag laws and other strategies like safe storage laws, universal background checks with no loopholes. Um, overwhelmingly, both sides of the aisle. They've made a huge miscalculation here in their efforts to keep their A-plus rating with the NRA and the Tennessee Firearms Association.